Hello everyone, Jared from Aloha Plumbing. If you have gas in your home, so if you have one of these attached to your home and you let the, the gas get turned off for six months or more, this could be a very expensive uh, endeavor to, to embark to get your gas back on. I'm going to explain to you really quickly what is going to be entailed. So, and then I'm going to tell you how you can prevent this from happening. So the first thing that will happen is uh, you'll get a notice, your gas is turned off, you'll contact the gas company and they'll say, oh, you're gonna need to contact a plumber. So you contact the plumber. The plumber is then going to have to pull a permit. The next thing he's going to have to do is he is going to have to come to your home and he's going to have to put a pressure test on your gas system. So if you look right here, this little doohickey is a regulator so the gas comes in and then this guy regulates the pressure from it's usually about six ounces here sometimes it's two pounds but this takes it down to about six ounces the gas then goes through and goes into your home so the plumber has to come to your house he has to disassemble this pipe or isolate this pipe and then he has to put a 15 pound test you just heard I said six ounces. So 15 pounds over six ounces is a huge difference in pressure. And sometimes that can actually cause a gas system that wasn't leaking before to begin to leak. So we come out, we put the pressure test on. Now let's say it's ideal. Let's say that it doesn't leak. The plumber comes out, puts the pressure test, he pulls the permit, he calls for inspection. Your gas system is holding. It's holding 15 PSI, stout, no problem. The plumber then calls for inspection. Now we're at the mercy of the city. The city will get that information. The plumber has to go through a process of asking for an inspection, paying for an inspection, scheduling an inspection. That takes time. Once we get it scheduled, then we can schedule it for the next available appointment. Now the city is gonna come out whenever they feel like it, whatever the next day available is, and they'll do an inspection, passes inspection. At that point, the plumber now has to return and reinstate the pipe, the meter reassemble so that it's back to the condition it was before so that the gas company can now be involved. So now you, the homeowner, have received your inspection. The permit has been pulled in inspection then that information is transferred by the city to the gas company. And once the plumber reinstalls this pipe back together and puts the meter, it's out of his hands. Now you're at the mercy of the city transferring this information to the gas company. And then at that point, once that's received, the homeowner or whoever's name is going to be on the bill can call, can ask to get that reinstated. Now, at that point, the city, uh, the, the gas company will come out. Funny enough, they're gonna do another little pressure test with their system. So they're gonna look at these gauges. They're gonna wanna come in your home and light the pilot on your water heater, inspect a couple of things. You have to have someone that meets their requirements to be home, jump through all their hoops, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have a rental property, if you own a home and you have gas, if you're selling a house, do not let that happen. Keep that bill in your name. You can keep the bill in your name and you can turn the gas off, not use any, but just keep the bill active. Pay their $20 a month. It can turn out to save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in the long run. Check the link uh, for more good information, DIY tips. Like us, subscribe. Have a great day.